Yeah, we adjusting the video on the fly. Cause your boy's on the fly. What is popping? Can y'all see me? Can't see me? Not that you really need to see me, but we're gonna do it anyway because <laughs> yeah, here we go. Right, will be cool coming at y'all. I'd like to thank the heavenly for the opportunity to be able to see you guys. Hope you're doing well. Sorry about the light behind me. But y'all know this is not a setup thing. This is a Roger real deep cool video. So we don't go about all that setting up everything and making sure everything is set up. No, we ain't doing that. We just keeping it real. Today, waiting for notice to come through the door to pick up some juice. He kind of running late, man. My, my schedule is crazy. Put my man come on through and make this thing pop. In the meantime, notice, you're going to see this video. You're not talking about you. Um, in the meantime, um, we're going to talk about a fragrance that Y'all be like, yo, that, that's not niche. Bruh, it might not be niche, but I'll tell you what, I bet you you don't have it. Which means it's niche. But uh, more than likely, you don't have this juice. Hold on a second, I sit my watch. My watch is tripping. It's 26. All right. All right, so yeah, y'all be like, yo, man, y'all, man, you seriously? I'm like, dog, dog, this right here? You cast don't know about this right here. Because you don't nobody talk about it. That's what your boy do. I talk about price per mill, per quality, per value. You ain't got to spend three hundred dollars to be part of the no. You ain't got to, to, to spend all that money to be part of the no. You don't. That's your decision. I can spend money, buy something at minuscule prices, and still be kicking butt. Such as one of my one of my favorites, Terry Mugler's Cure de Fragrance. How it's your boy? Y'all ain't nothing about that. So I turned you on to Cure de Fragrance by Terry Mugler. You know what I mean? That funky animalic angel. Holla at your boy. Y'all want down with that. And then I'm going to put you down with something else that don't cost you a lot of money. All you got to do is know you're going to be smelling good. And I ain't talking about no cheapies. I'm not talking about something you bought from, 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 from da, 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 or some freaking uh, department store that, oh, this smells just like me. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about a real niche fragrance made overseas, actually. The name of the house is Gorilla Perfumes slash Lush. And if you haven't been to a Lush shop, I know a lot of you don't get out the house. A lot of you just buy stuff online and blah, blah, blah. You don't get out. I'm sorry. You should try to get out somewhere and go somewhere and smell something. But a lot of you don't. You just like to order stuff online and see what somebody say about it. And you buy it and you find that you don't like it because it don't work for you. Well, that's up to you. You ain't want to get in the car. Go somewhere and try to find you a place to buy some juice. I can't help you. That's what your boy here for, though, to help you out. From the house of Lush slash Gorilla Perfumes. What would love do? What would love do? Now, if you ever been to a Lush shop, maybe you've been fortunate to have a Lush shop. We had one in King of Prussia that I ain't know anything about. All of a sudden, like, bam. So I know them about three years. I went and I bought a couple of perfumes. I got Breath of God. Um, I got two other ones that I have back there, I think. One or two other ones. But the one I really like is what love would do. And basically, before Lush actually opened up shops over here, you had to order these from overseas. You had to get them bad boys, and man, it would take forever to get them. So now they have a Lush shop here, Gorilla Perfumes. They mainly go by Lush Perfumes, but still the same thing. They put the expiration date on the bottom, but let me tell you something right now. It don't matter. This right here says expiration date, one eight twenty one, And what they're saying is by that time, because it's naturally authentic juice, it ain't going to be the same. Now, what bottle do you have? I have a bottle for like six years now. What about the juice that you have that say, look, you got to here, and then after that, you on your own? You don't. They don't tell you nothing. Lush by Gorilla Perfumes do, and that's what makes them niche also. But this juice right here, you get this creamy type. It's not like a rose. It's more like, I don't know if it's a cardamom. What would you call that? It's like either a rose or a cardamom enveloping this, and then you get this real, like a, not, it's boozy. You get a boo smell from this too. Now you can buy these in the small bottles. Some stores don't carry the small bottles anymore. I bought this a year ago. And some had the bigger bottles, the 100 mil. These are like, I think 15 or 30 or something like that. These are 30. And then they also have bath wash, bath sponges, soap, all that stuff. Kind of reminds me of sit and sip a little bit where you can make candles, uh, hand sanitizer, all that stuff in one place. Lush is kind of like that, but sit and sip is more cooler. Holla at your boy. But yes, right here, what what would love do? This joint is popping. Uh, I bought Breath of God. And Breath of God is okay, but it's not one of my faves. It's not one of my faves, man. But some of y'all should have heard of Breath of God because that's been out there for a half a second. So you might want to check that out. But find your Lush store. Go!
to a Lush store, get in a car, and go to a Lush store, or Gorilla Perfumes, and get you some Lush juices. In fact, get in the car and go somewhere, and stop sitting home waiting for somebody to deliver juice to you. That's corny. Nobody do that no more. That's corny, yo. Well, Rod, you live near, well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't live near uh, Tyson's Corner in Virginia. I go down there. I don't live near Lancaster. I go out there. Don't give me that, man. I ain't trying to hear no excuses. So last night, I bought this beautiful base right here. Look at that. Look at this, Look at this base. This is a base made in Germany, like my car, BMW. This base is made in Germany as well. This is called the Warwick Corvette 4, Babinga Wood. This is Babinga Wood, and I got to figure out how to treat this because I don't want it drying out. And I don't, don't want to keep it in the case because it's too pretty like all my other bases are sitting around here. I want them out so I can look at them so I can get inspired. Like, you know what? I ain't playing you in a long time. Bam, I ain't got to open up a case and all that stuff. So I don't want to leave this in the case either. So I got to make sure I get something to treat this babinga wood straight from Africa trees. How did your boy from the motherland? From the real, where everybody was born. Everybody. The motherland. Okay? So some people started, they wanted to go out and go on their own and then they turned into something else. Anyway, bam. Look at this. Babinga wood. 2005, German made, holla at your boy. This joint is popping. And it's active, it got an active uh, setup in here, so a lot of guys might know about this. I'm gonna make this a combo video for cats who like basses and fragrances. You know what I mean? I gotta reach out to everybody. That's what I do. Basses, fragrances, guitar studio, bam. No one trick pony over here. Try that somewhere else. You know, we got a little talent over this joint and y'all need to get some talent too. Learn how to draw a picture, pick up a guitar and learn how to play a piano. I don't know what to tell you. Bam. For Bingham Wood, active, pick up. When you pull it up, that's regular mode. You got a blend knob here. Go from the back to the front to in between pickups. Back pickup. Front pickup or the neck. And then we got both of them. Then we got turn on the active EQ, punch it in, baby. And then we got some extra bass and treble back here. You can hear the power. This is the bass and the treble all the way up. Halfway. All the way down. Bass up, treble down. Bass all the way down, treble up. Bass halfway, treble all the way up. Treble halfway, bass all the way down. So you got different combinations of what you can get. It's not like my other bass sitting over there, which is a three band EQ. So you got mid, low, and high along with the volume. But this, you have the blend, which makes it cool. So you can blend how much of the pickup that you want in there along with you using the bass and the witchcomb. So I might want more neck pickup than I want bridge. So I back off that neck a little bit. You know what I mean? And I add the bass and the EQ. But I'll back off that neck again. And you get all kinds of tones out this thing, man. I just got it last night. I want to thank to my man Red, a.k.a. Steve, who turned me on this bad boy. Thanks to his brother for selling it. And hope you're well over there, brother. I forgot his name. Who's over serving in the military. I can appreciate that because I'm a military guy as well. And it's his base that got sold to me. So, you know what I mean? I can appreciate that I bought the base from another military guy who's actually over there serving. Not out in the street acting a fool, but over there serving our country doing his thing. That's what I'm into. Holla at your boy. So I'm trying to get the strap right. There we go. And I'm going to take this guitar sim so I can play in the amps and show off. Now we'll 
play drums, but I don't feel like it. Because I don't feel like hooking the stuff up. But there you go. What would love do? It would like me to play this bass. That's what like, it would let me play this bass. That's what love would do. Or you can buy you a Warwick Corvette 4 Babinga Wood Active bass. And you know this wasn't cheap. Because your boy don't buy cheap stuff. Well, not all the time. Sometimes I do. All depends. It might be a good deal and I bought it cheap. But it won't be really cheap, cheap. And I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. We just noticed that, man. I got to call this boy. I got to call this boy. I got to go, y'all. I got to get on the phone. I'll let y'all later. 100 pieces and deuces. And I'll house y'all later. Oh, by the way, I'm doing a uh, Mason uh, replica uh, Zoom tonight. I'm really excited about that. It's supposed to happen this morning at 11, but they changed the time. So it's not going to be at 11. I'm going to lay you down for a second, baby. Okay? Right now, I'm picking you back up. Uh, it starts at 7 tonight instead of 11. At 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock. So I'm going to be out the door at 2 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, I'll be back in. So I'll tell y'all how that went. The Zoom event, Mason Martin Medaglia. And y'all know, Megaviglia, y'all know his name. And y'all know what he's wearing. He makes Body Fireplace, Jazz Club. He got a new one out called Whispers and something. And I really want to smell that, but I didn't get that. So I'm going to have to check that out. The Whispers joint. And I get like a, I get a discount or something if I buy it, and they give you like two, ten mils or something like that. So I can't wait for this event tonight, and I might pick up a bottle of that because you can't beat that. Get a discount on the bottle, and you get it. What you got? Oh no, 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 no discount on the bottle. If you buy the bottle, but you get two ten mils for free. I wish they let you get what you want, but I gotta smell those whispers, man. I gotta look up the note on the whispers. All right, is that it? We out of here by twelve minutes? Yes, we are. Where's notice at, man? I gonna let him get in the video. I don't know where he at. Let me call him and see where he is. How's your boy? Later, 100 bars.